On this episode of Uncle Penn's Garage, we're going to change out a mirror on the passenger side. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Today we're going to change out a passenger side mirror on a 2010 Jeep Commander. This mirror has failed due to the heating element behind the mirror causing it to discolor, causing it to become useless. So we're going to fix that so we can see better. This should be relatively easy for you. I'm inside my garage because it's seven degrees wind chill outside, a little bit chilly outside, so I moved it indoors. This job, it just requires a screwdriver, an eight millimeter wrench, and I'm doing three clips. Make sure you roll down the window first before you turn the power off. The first screw is behind the pull handle to close the door. A second screw is behind the pull handle lever, which unlocks the door. And the third screw is by the hinge. And there's only three screws. Those are Phillips screws. This job requires three screws three wire clips, and three bolts. That's it. Let's get started. Okay, once all the screws are out, you gotta start peeling the panel, this plastic panel off. Right underneath, in the middle of the door, there is a gap in the plastic. It, sometimes you can put your finger under there to pull it out, or you might have to use a tool to, to pull the clips out. Or you can use a screwdriver or you could use a trim tool. Now me, what I would suggest is use a door trim tool set. It puts leverage on the plastic without breaking the clips. It spreads out the force. When you grab onto these edges, be careful, it's sharp. I haven't cut myself, but they are sharp. Once you have all the clips removed, then you're going to lift up on the panel and there will be three wires attached near the armrest. Lock, window, and then a little bit further away will be the one for the defrost on the mirror. So three screws and three wires. So like I said, grab a hold of the door handle, grab on the front and separate Lift up and separate the panel. Okay, well I said three wires, but I see two wires and the actuator for the door lock. On the back of the panel, Here's what it looks like. No broken clips. Here's the lock mechanism. It's like, it's attached like that. The arm lifts up from the bottom. You push this back to rotate it free and lower the arm. Lower this and it sets it free. On on each of the wires, there is a lever or a button to press, which releases it. So 
same over here. Releases it. And there you go. The panel's free. So now we gotta start pulling the wire through. We have to take this seal off. It just pulls out of there. It's pressed into the holes on the door. Like that. Inside the holes in the door, you see the screws holding the mirror onto the door frame. So there is a screw in here, in here, and back here. So one at the top, one down where the wire is, and then right there. There's two of them. Third one's up there. There, you can see all three of them now. Eight millimeter socket will take those off. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'll just take them off. Make sure I do it carefully and hold the mirror from the outside. The three nuts are off. Didn't drop them. You have to be careful about that. When you're pulling them out of those holes, you might catch the flange of the nut inside the holes. Uh, if you do that, you're gonna have to get a magnet and peel up this inner liner. I didn't do that, so I don't need to do that. But another thing is while the inner liner, while the panel is off, inspect the panel, the inner liner, Make sure it's airtight. That'll help keep the road noise down. Moisture out, things like that. Now I'm going to attempt to get that mirror off without dropping it. So it moves pretty easily. So I'm going to lift it and just work it slowly, feed the cord through, work it slowly, there you go, pull it through and here is the old mirror. Inspect here, I'm going to clean all that off, that way Put the new one on, it's going to have a good surface to be on. So, I'll be back. Change of plans. I saw in another video where someone used a screwdriver and pried the mirror forward. I figured since this one was already damaged that I could try and pry it. And it, you see eight clips in there and they align with the eight clips right here. So there's some wires. I'm gonna see if I can save this housing that matches his car and just switch the glass. We'll have to see if we have the same wires. So there's a plot twist. Stay tuned. I see a couple differences. There's a wire on the original one. I believe that's for the auto dim feature. And we still got the two clips for the heating elements. This one has auto dim on it. They're just not going to have that, but they're going to have the memory of the mirror resetting and they're also going to have the original paint job that matches the car instead of the uh, plastic vinyl. They'll have a painted surface. And I may be able to uh, sell what's there and get it on eBay or something. Make some of the money back. Maybe in the future, we'll get a piece of glass that has all these connections, but for now, I'm going to tape over the white connector here, 
prevent any moisture or anything from getting in that, but we'll be able to use all the motor mechanisms and have the memory functions of their mirror presets. And I'm going to start assembling it back together in reverse of what it was. Again, I won't bore your time. We'll just line up the clips with those eight slots inside that mirror head right there. All right, wipe down the area. Make sure there's no damage to the mating surfaces. Make sure the gaskets are good and intact. No damage, no rust. Let's put it back together. It's pretty simple. Feed the wire through again and align the posts we just took off back in the holes. And I'm going to shut this off and I will show you when I'm done. Yeah, pretty simple of aligning the holes, putting the cord back through, and we'll make connections again once we put those nuts back in there. Again, I won't waste your time. Okay, a mirror is bolted back on. We're using the original housing. Remember, the only thing they're not going to have now is the auto dim, but uh, that mirror looks a lot different. It's dirty because I had my hands on it, but it looks a lot better. So now, I made sure everything was sealed and connected, so now I'm going to put the door panel back on and make the wire connections and reattach the door lock mechanism on that rod right there. Okay, the door panel's back on. You have to make sure you align this with, to get it on there. You drop it in the top here. There's a groove, not the window channel, but there's a groove up there. There's a pin up here you have to align, and then you just start snapping it in from the top and work down. Now you gotta put in those three screws again, and then snap that cover closed inside the door handle, and you're done. Then we'll test it out. Okay, moment of truth. Definitely see in the mirror. I'll turn the lever over to that mirror. See if we can start seeing movement. We got movement. So that's it. Putting a mirror in, look at the difference already. The mirror, the glass didn't exactly fit. It didn't have those same connections, but we used the same housing that they had instead of one that was plastic that would have matched. The plastic would have matched this part, but this one had the body paint on it. So maybe we'll get the glass now that I know how to do it. And you don't have to take the whole door apart to do that. 